Chancellor, I present to you Professor Lucy Rogers for the award of Outstanding Alumna of the Year. Lucy is a distinguished member of an alumni community that, as we have heard, numbers 150,000 members across the globe. As we recognize her achievements through this award, we also acknowledge and celebrate the wider successes of all Lancaster graduates and the important part they continue to play in the life of our university. Lucy Rogers is a maker, inventor, and cheerleader for science who brings humor into everything she does. Although she describes herself as a maker first and then an engineer second, she is currently the Royal Academy of Engineering Visiting Professor of Engineering, Creativity and Communication at Brunel University, London. She revels in the fact that her Lancaster PhD is in bubbles or more formally, the fluid dynamics of bubble formation in equipment used to fight petrochemical fires, having also studied here as an undergraduate. Her light-hearted approach to science underpins a passion for widening participation and for demythologizing often extremely complex subjects, and she has been credited with encouraging a generation of girls to consider careers in science or engineering. Lucy says she took her inspiration to get into science, engineering, and making through wanting to create Heath Robinson contraptions, and also from the animated puppets on the satirical TV comedy show, Spitting Image. It's not surprising, then, that she was the founder of the Guild of Makers and remains one of its most enthusiastic members. A tour of Lucy's website is like a visit to a shop of curiosities, given a flavor of this enthusiastic polymath's interests. Alongside stories about her time as a judge on the ever-popular BBC series Robot Wars, you will find information about her work on space debris. Lucy is the respected author of strategies to counter the impact of space debris on satellite operations, having attended NASA's Singularity University Graduate Studies Programme in 2011. You will find articles about solving animatronic problems with fiberglass dinosaurs at a tourist attraction on the Isle of Wight, and news of her many lectures and speeches, including one entitled Nine Carols and Lessons for Curious People, fitting for this time of year. You will even find references to a weird invention called a fartometer. Uh, I'll leave Lucy to explain that one if she wants to later. Uh, and information about her published works, including her book, It's Only Rocket Science, an introduction in plain English, which has become a popular lead-in to the subject in schools. As Tim Radford of The Guardian commented, my only complaint about the writing of Lucy Rogers is that there isn't enough of it. The ability to engage with lay audiences, inspire enthusiasm for science among younger generations, and to take highbrow engineering concepts and make them part of her comedy routines explains why Lucy has been a go-to for TV and radio news organizations seeking entertaining but understandable explanations of the latest science stories. It is also the reason she is a much sought after presenter at conferences and award ceremonies. Earlier this year, for example, she was the host and keynote speaker at the British Engineering Excellence Awards, and she frequently chairs events for Toastmasters International. A review of Lucy's CV is similarly enlightening to a tour of her website. You realize very quickly the impeccable academic credentials backing up her light-hearted interpretations of science and engineering. She's a chartered engineer and a fellow of the Institute of Mechanical Engineers, the Royal Astronomical, Astronomical Society, and the British Interplanetary Society. She's also a member of both the Association of British Science Writers and the Women's Institute. Among the other talents listed on her impressive CV are cartooning, cat herding, stand-up comedy, and something we should all add to our resumes, a sense of fun. It is clear from all the things that Lucy does that she adheres rigidly to this important guiding principle. The range of Lucy Rogers' achievements over the last 20 years should act as a reminder to each of you graduating today that you too can be successful with commitment and dedication. In reaching for success, we hope that you will make the most of your Lancaster qualifications, not only to better yourselves, but also to benefit your families, your university, and the wider communities in which you live and work. Chancellor, it is my honor to present Professor Lucy Rogers for the award of Outstanding Alumna of the Year.
Chancellor. Fellow members of the university, honoured guests, thank you for this honour. And congratulations to those of you who are here today to receive your degree certificate. You have levelled up. For those of you who may not have played computer games, Chancellor, <laughs> to level up is when you have completed a game and got to the next level. You have completed the tasks and on the next level there will be new tools to wield, new skills to learn and new tasks to perform. But you haven't levelled up on a computer game. You have levelled up in life. And just like a computer game, the next level is harder but also more fun. It's harder in that you no longer have a syllabus to follow. You are no longer restricted to your research area that will further global knowledge. Now, it's up to you. You will see throughout your career that there are people that get advantages that you don't. There are people that get paid more than you. There are people who get opportunities that you don't. And you will wonder, why does he get all these opportunities? And yes, it probably will be a he. <laughs> and the answer to that is because life is unfair. But you can make life more fair in your direction. You can load the dice in your favour. Seneca is uh, reported to have said that luck is when preparation meets opportunity. I like to twist that round. Opportunities arise when preparation meets luck. So how do you prepare? You learn things that wasn't on your syllabus at the university. Learn things that others in your field may not know. But also play. When I graduated, I thought that my reports with all the facts and figures would speak for themselves. I didn't think that I would have to argue the points. I thought they were there. I was wrong. I have had to learn how to communicate, to speak to groups, to speak to individuals, to speak to people who aren't engineers, to get my point across. And to do that, I have gone on training courses. I have learnt public speaking. I've even been on comedy courses. But it's not just about training. It's also about playing. When the Raspberry Pi computer came out, this is a credit card sized computer, about 25 pounds. It was designed to get children into programming. I wanted to play with it. So I got one and I connected it to the internet. And I connected it to a lamp in my living room. And when the International Space Station was going over my house, the lamp would light up and I could go outside and wave at the astronauts because that's what I do for fun. I also got a puppy a black Labrador, she's called Enki. And when I got her, the people I got her from were in my village. We got on, we got chatting. I started going for dog walks with them. And that's what I did for fun. Now, it just so happens that those people I went dog walking with owned a theme park. That theme park had some robot dinosaurs. Those robot dinosaurs 
broke. Now my friends knew what I'd done with the Raspberry Pi and the ISS, and so they said, can you come and fix our robot dinosaurs? So we now have Raspberry Pis in the dinosaurs at a theme park. And because I'd learned some more communication skills, I was writing a blog post. So I wrote up on my blog that I had put these Raspberry Pis in the dinosaurs. They were now in, working in the theme park. I sent the link to the Raspberry Pi Foundation. I thought they might like to know that it's not just for kids in education. They were really excited and they publicized it. The Raspberry Pi Foundation has a much louder voice than me. So when they publicized it, I became renowned on the internet for working with robot dinosaurs. Another friend on Twitter had heard about my robot dinosaurs and they were approached by BBC Robot Wars. Do you want to be a judge on Robot Wars? And they said, ah, it's not for me, but have you heard of Lucy Rogers and her robot dinosaurs? Try her. So because I prepared by improving my communication skills. Because I played with the Raspberry Pi and the ISS, the International Space Station, and because I got a puppy, I became a judge on Robot Wars. <laughs> you have all leveled up. It's now up to you. You now need to make your opportunities. Learn what you didn't learn at university, but also play. And trust the luck. Opportunities are when preparation meets luck. Good luck.